Importance of Limited Use of Antibiotics The use of all medicines should be limited. But this is especially true of antibiotics, for the following reasons. 1. Poisoning and reactions, antibiotics not only kill bacteria, they can also harm the body, either by poisoning it or by causing allergic reactions. Many people die each year because they take antibiotics they do not need. 2. Upsetting the natural balance, not all bacteria in the body are harmful. Some are necessary for the body to function normally. Antibiotics often kill the good bacteria along with the harmful ones. Babies who are given antibiotics sometimes develop fungus infections of the mouth, thrush, or skin, moniliasis. This is because the antibiotics kill the bacteria that help keep fungus under control. 4. Similar reasons, persons who take ampicillin and other broad-spectrum antibiotics for several days may develop diarrhea. Antibiotics may kill some kinds of bacteria necessary for digestion, upsetting the natural balance of bacteria in the gut. 3. Resistance to treatment. In the long run, the most important reason the use of antibiotics should be limited, is that when antibiotics are used too much, they become less effective. When attacked many times by the same antibiotic, bacteria become stronger and are no longer killed by it. They become resistant to the antibiotic. For this reason, certain dangerous diseases like typhoid are becoming more difficult to treat than they were a few years ago. 5. In some places typhoid has become resistant to chloramphen E. coli. Normally the best medicine is used for treating it. Chloramphen E. coli has been used far too much for minor infections, infections for which other antibiotics would be safer and work as well, or for which no antibiotic at all is needed. 6. Throughout the world important diseases are becoming resistant to antibiotics largely because antibiotics are used too much for minor infections. If antibiotics are to continue to save lives, their use must be far more limited than it is at present. This will depend on wise use of doctors, health workers, and the people themselves. 7. For most minor infections antibiotics are not needed and should not be used. Minor skin infections can usually be successfully treated with soap and water, hot soaks, and perhaps painting them with gentian violet. Minor respiratory infections are best treated by drinking lots of liquids, eating good food, and getting plenty of rest. 8. For most diarrheas, Antibiotics are not necessary and may even be harmful. What is most important is to drink lots of liquids and provide enough food as soon as the child will eat. Do not use antibiotics for injections the body can fight successfully by itself. Save them for when they are most needed.